French President Emmanuel Macron delivered a stern warning to Britain as he stressed the EU will stick to the Brexit agreement, regardless of links of friendship still in place with the UK. Addressing the EU Parliament in Strasbourg, the French leader said the only way to remain friends is to respect the Brexit agreements made between Brussels and the UK. In a stern warning he will not cave to London's demands. Mr. Macron said, the links of friendship between ourselves and the people of the United Kingdom are there and will remain. Economic and social progress we've done together is too much to be forgotten but to continue to move together and work together after Brexit, the UK government needs to commit itself in good faith, respecting the agreements already concluded with the union with we will stick to. We want to make certain that the agreements entered into are respected, when it comes to the rights of our fishermen or Northern Ireland protocol or the vital discussions which have to be had in the future. We must be clear and we must be tough in saying that agreements entered into must be respected. That's the way to remain friends. It comes as UK Foreign Secretary Liz Truss is entering intense talks with the EU to renegotiate the Northern Ireland protocol this week. Ms. Truss has been submerged in discussions with her EU counterpart, Maros Sifkovic, since last week to deliver a renegotiated NI protocol. She has opted for a softer approach than her predecessor, Lord Frost, inviting Mr. Sifkovic to resume talks at her official residence at Chevening, in Kent. The pair have agreed to hold further talks on the 24th of January, with Ms. Truss clarifying in a tweet that their teams will be working hard to deliver practical solutions to protect the Belfast Good Friday Agreement and political stability, ensure free flow of goods between the UK and Northern Ireland, and to defend the sovereignty of decision-making for all. Irish Foreign Minister Simon Coveney has said he wants to see an agreement on the protocol reached by the end of February. Mr. Coveney said he does not want to see the Northern Ireland Assembly election in may become dominated by the polarizing issue. Speaking on Friday, Mr. Coveney said the meeting marked a reset in the relationship between the EU and UK teams, which is now in a better place than we've seen for a while. He said, from my conversations with both sides, I think that process will be a very serious one. I think in people's minds, really, we would like to have, if possible, these issues resolved by the end of February, so that the elections in Northern Ireland can move ahead without being dominated by the protocol issues. Right the way to polling day, elections in the North are often polarizing enough affairs without having the added complexity and tension around the protocol and its implementation. So I think everybody is conscious of their responsibility in terms of trying to bring some stability and certainty to Northern Ireland in the context of Brexit and the Northern Ireland Protocol. Ms. Truss said there is a deal to be done following her meeting with Mr. Sifkovic. However she refused to rule out the possibility the UK could invoke Article 16, suspending part of the arrangements in the Protocol, if they could not agree a way forward. Mr. Coveney insisted the protocol is here to stay, and that he did not expect the UK to remove the threat of Article 16 until a deal is agreed. He told RTE Radio 1, the protocol is there, it's part of an international treaty, it's part of international law, and so the focus really on the EU side is how do we implement this protocol in a way that is pragmatic and flexible, and takes on board the genuine concerns that have been raised in Northern Ireland, I think if both sides work on that basis. There is a landing zone that can be agreed over the next 6 or 8 weeks. As an Irish government perspective, we'll be working to try to assist that process.